Hi everyone. Let's go ahead and get started with the background removal and replacement using machine learning. I'll be taking a horse image. You can take any image as per your choice. And I'm going to extract the subject from the image. Thereafter, I'm going to remove the background. So once this background is removed, then I'm going to replace that background with some of the other images. It's like you have seen in the mobile application where you remove an image, uh, where you extract an image, remove the background and then replace the background. All right. So how you can do that using the Python? That's what I'm going to show you here. So for that, we will be using a research paper published here. This is very recent research paper published 8th March 2022. It's barely one year old research paper and it has a very high accuracy out of all the available uh, out of all the available uh, uh, the algorithms. This particular model U square net is really uh, uh, very high performance and uh, and uh, the model size is also quite less. So these type of the models are using the machine learning. Here you can see that if you are familiar with the machine learning algorithms, then you can clearly see that these green color boxes are actually convolutional layer, batch normalization and the ReLU. And the, this, the yellow one or orange one is the convolutional layer and the batch normalization. Then we have the blue one, which has the down sampling, convolutional layer, batch normalization and the ReLU activation function. Thereafter, we have the up sampling, convolutional layer, batch normalization and the ReLU. So the moreover, if you are familiar with the machine learning, then you would understand. Otherwise, to use this algorithm, you don't need to understand deep. You don't need to have deep understanding of this research paper because this research paper is already implemented in a library which is known as RemBG that means remove background this is very recent library and this library uses these algorithms here all right so we are going to install this library and you can see here some of the images where it has these images and then the backgrounds are removed from these images so the same thing we can do by using this RemBG library so we can install this rembg you can simply call here uh, you can simply co uh, co copy this here pip install rembg and then you can install it here i'm using here google colab to install this pip uh, install this re remove background All right so here it has its github repository you can get this git repo from here all right so I have got here one instance at the Google Colab. It is installing the necessary libraries there. Once these necessary dependencies of the RMBG is installed, then it will install the remove background. All right, so this library is installed here. I'm just gonna, you know, uh, remove that output from there. And then thereafter, I'm gonna import remove method from the remove background. So I do here from rem bg import remove so this is the method available in remove background which will remove the background and thereafter i'm going to also import here request so that i can download the images from the internet then i'm gonna import here pil library so from the pil i'm gonna import here image so that i can read the image thereafter i'm gonna import here from the IO bytes IO. So the bio is input IO is input output library, native library available in Python. There I'm gonna get I'm gonna get here bytes input and output. It will help us to read the images in the form of the byte. Thereafter, I'm I'm also importing here operating system OS. So this OS will help us to manage the directory there. Alright, so once you have got you see in the files we don't have uh, we don't have uh, uh, any other folders other than the sample data so here we will create the two folders using the os we will create original and the masked here so i write here the os dot make dirs and in that i write here the original and thereafter i say exists it says that the exists okay is equal to the true that means if this mask 
If this original is already available there, then do not throw the error. Thereafter, I create here masked directory, then I run it. Thereafter, you can refresh it. You will see there the two, two new two new directory is created here. Once all these things are done, let's go ahead and start writing the code. So the first of all, I'm going to get the image URL. So I write here IMG URL. I'm going to take a horse URL. You can choose any of these. My favorite horse is this one, white one. I'm going to just get this one. All right. So you click on this and you can see the size of this horse. You can get, you know, e even better resolution. I'm just going to right click here and I select here the copy image address. Once you get the image address, I type it here. You, 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 you need to also verify that the image address should end with the dot jpg or dot png. If you have any other type which does not end with the dot jpg or the dot png, you might not be able to download the images. So the do remember whenever you copy the image URLs, verify that it is a proper, proper image, you know, the Im Im image extension there. Once you have the image URL, I'm going to get the image name. So I write here IMG name is equal to the IMG URL and then I'm going to just split this one with the forward slash. So it will be here, you know, it will be having here a list and uh, which will be splitted from, you know, the forward slash. I need this one. So for that, I write here minus one. That means it's going to get the last one. All right. So I write the minus one, it's going to get the last one, which is this one. And this is going to be the image name for our purpose. All right. So once you have got the URL and the image name, let's go ahead and download this image. I write here IMG is equal to image dot open. Do you remember that this image we imported from the pillow library from the PIL and we are going to open here an online image which we are going to download. So I'm going to write here the bytes IO. So I need to get our image as the array of the bytes. So in that I write here the requests dot get and then I write here the IMG URL. All right. Thereafter I write here the content. Once all these things are done, now you see this request library we imported here. Thereafter, this image URL is defined here. Then we extract the content. Then this content is converted as the bytes of the input output. Then we open this with the help of the pillow library in the form of the image. Once we get the image, then we are going to save this in our original, in our original folder. So you have seen there, this original is currently empty. I'm going to just write here the original forward slash and the name of our image there. I'm just going to do here the plus and the IMG name there. All right. So it's going to save this. I need to also define here the format. So I write here the format is equal to the JPEG format. Let's go ahead and run this. Once I run this, it's going to say it's here uh, has no attribute resampling perhaps something is wrong let me see here this is saying that this one is having the problem what the problem is seems like we are have seems like we are having a problem with the pillow library so for that we need to install the latest pillow library all right for that i write here the pip install upgrade and then i'm gonna say here the pillow all right, so I'm just going to run it. It's going to uninstall the older library and then it will install the latest one. So the current latest one, it has the 9.4 and it has actually deleted the 9.3. All right, so once this is done, thereafter you need to restart your runtime. Otherwise, it will not get selected. So I write here the restart runtime. All right. So it's going to restart runtime. It will take a little time. And once you restart your runtime, you don't need to install these again. All these are already installed. Let's go ahead and run it from the beginning once again. Now, if you see it, your already created folders are already there. 
I run this one thereafter I run this one again the folder is already there although I create it again but it do not throw the error because I say the exist ok is equal to the true once again I get here these URLs and then I run it it's gonna now save this it's gonna save this here in the original if you refresh it now you should be able to see that horse there so this horse is stored there now our task is to write a code to remove the background from this horse and then replace that background with the some other image all right so let's go ahead and write that algorithm that algorithm i'm going to write it here using the remove background remove background library all right so i'm going to say here the output path for the you know the removed background so for that one i'm going to save this into the masked image and in that i write here masked forward slash and plus img name so this is going to be the output image here all right so this is going to be the output path where a removed background you know removed background horse will be stored at this particular place once that part is done i'm just gonna add here a few code cell then i write here with open in that i write here the output path so for this output path we are going to open there a file and that file i'm gonna open in binary format then i say it as f then inside this i read the image which i read in input is equal to the open again i'm going to read the image as the binary image I, and that i can read with the original forward slash plus img name so this i read from the original folder where i stored that and the mode of read is binary mode once this thing is done then i read everything as the bytes array once that is once i read this input you can simply print this input to see that how this is actually getting read there so this is kind of you know the array of the byte so this array of byte i'm gonna pass it into into the remove background remove method so in that i write here remove it's very simple actually remove input that's all you need to pass here and if you pass this it is going to remove there all right so i'm going to get here the subject is equal to like this now you are getting the subject where the background is removed now we need to write this subject in the output file so i do here f dot write and in that i pass here the subject because this f is already open with write mode as the binary sub binary file and the subject will be written there let's go ahead and run it and then see how this is removed there the first time it actually download there you know the models the model is downloaded once then it stores the data in the masked folder all right so that's the output all right so if you open this one now you should be able to see there the background of that horse is actually removed now you are getting here really a very good horse here that background is removed completely for this horse now if you want to control some of these edges properly then what you can do to control those edges you can pass here some of the parameters which this remove have there like you can do the alpha matting so you see there these are the parameter which you can pass so i'm going to say here alpha matting is true so the alpha matting is something where it decides that the pixels between you know the pixel intensity between the foreground and the background once you say that the alpha matting is true you might see a little different image all right now you in in this now you should be able to see some of these you know uh, uh, there uh, 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 the hairs of these horse there because i said that the alpha matting is true once all these things are done if you have any other images 
where you are not getting a proper you know the background removal you can choose other parameters where you can choose the alpha you know the alpha matting foreground uh, uh, threshold like here a default one is the 240 so it says that the threshold is like the 240 that means the subject which are very clear only those will be selected as a subject that means if you have a low quality picture and if you select this alpha matting very high then you may not be able to remove those properly all right so here i select alpha matting is 50 that means even though if you have low quality image then in that case you should be able to get the proper uh, you, you should be able to get the proper result but there is risk with this risk is you might get you, you might get the background also a more background if you select the lower threshold here so this image is much better than what we were getting the earlier earlier we had the image where these uh, uh, the these you know the hairs of the horse was not available but now we are seeing those horse hair let's go ahead and write the code to replace this background with some landscape image suppose that if you want to stand this horse on the road then you can select this one or this one depending on the intensity of your horse probably i would like to choose this image i'm just gonna get the image address from there and then i write here the background image all right so i write something like this background image like i have been telling you earlier that you need to verify that this ends with the jpg or dot png otherwise you will not get the proper image once you have this then we are going to simply read this image like we did earlier so I'm going to just do here the background img is equal to i image dot open in that we need to do here the requests dot get and in that I need to write here I need to write the background img there but this I need to also convert into bytes of the array so I write it something like this once you get this then for this one i need to get here the content there all right perfect so once you have got this you have now got the image this image i'm going to resize with the original image which we have earlier so for that i write here background img is equal to background img dot resize and in this resize you know the older image was here that's the original image i need to get this image as the original image so that i can replace a proper background with this horse there so i write here img dot resize img dot width and then img dot height there once I get here resized image, then I'm going to just, you know, replace this with our horse there. I mean, we are going to replace this with the background of this horse. All right. So let's go ahead and read this horse, which is stored in the output path. So I write there as the foreground. All right. I write it as the foreground. That means it is subject foreground image is image dot open now we have the path there output path where this horse is stored without the background so i read this horse from there as the foreground image then in the background image i'm gonna paste this image there so i write here background img dot paste and in that i'm gonna paste this foreground image all right then you check there you know the, it has some options there like the box i don't want to put any boxes there so it's going to start with the zero zero and then i need to also tell that the tell, tell there there the 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 mask of the image all right so i write here the foreground image then 
the zero zero says that I just want it to you know resized with the original one. There is no boxes, and then I need to get uh, till here the final image. That final image is again this foreground image itself. All right. So once you have all these, then we are gonna just store this background Im image there. So I write here the background img dot shape and this one I'm gonna save here into a masked and here uh, you know I'm just gonna give its name as the background dot jpg and the format I'm gonna store here as the jpeg all right so that's all you need to do you just need to simply run it now once you run it you should be able to get that somehow this result is wrong let me just check it what went wrong seems like some mistakes i have made it here okay so the mistake is here actually all right so this need to go as the tuple there all right so this whole thing now this one i need to pass as the tuple there because this this whole thing goes as the single you know as a single as a single parameters there if you check this resize one it take it it takes the size as the tuple there all right so that's why i need that to pass as the tuple let's go ahead and run it now once you run it you should have this this horse with a different background all right and it is stored here in the masked as the background.jpg superb wow this is really excellent now do you see that we had our original horse with some other image but now we have replaced it with some other background our original horse was this one now we have replaced its background a proper background with some other image this is how you can perform this in really good manner if you use your python there you can download it so that you can use it for the later purpose you can also select some of the other background if you want to put your horse at the some other place probably you want to put your horse at this place then you can simply get the image address from there and then you can simply you know replace that particular you know the address what we had there earlier this one the background address you can remove that and then you can run it again if you open it you should be able to see there a different there the background all right boom this is again a beautiful uh, background you have there you have horse here and then this horse is standing there at the you know the roadside there that's how you can use python with the machine learning to replace and remove the background i'm sure you must you, you, if, if you have liked this video please subscribe the channel and like this video you can share it with your friends and you can share it on the social media all right thank you so much i'll see you in next one